Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at the new Ascent system from Walksnail and Caddx. This is a much less expensive and very very small sized FPV system, HD FPV system. The video transmitter specifically says for tiny drones, only weighs 6 grams, so pretty incredible. The goggles are pretty much the same as the Goggles L, let's have a look at them. Uh, Grey coloured instead of the white colour but otherwise pretty much the same. They have different um, foam surrounding, which still doesn't quite fit my face. Box goggles, so you will need to insert lenses if you use lenses for, for reading. I do. I can almost focus on the screen, but uh, I'm just much better if I put sort of a couple of uh, reading strength lenses in there, which I have done with the goggles L. I've just sort of hacked up my own. You can buy the proper frame and lenses from Caddx, but very, very nice quality box goggles. Uh, very impressive indeed. 1080, 60 or 10, uh, 720, 60 frames a second recording in the goggles. And the video transmitter, here's the tiny, tiny little transmitter. I've made up a little mount for it just so I can sort of handle it. So tiny little 14 millimeter width camera and the little board, no onboard recording, and they do heat up very quickly, but the Supply voltage is from 3 volts to over 12 volts, I think. Uh, so great, you can run it off 1S uh, for the tiny little drones, but you have to be careful. Uh, you can't run it off VBAT if you're running 4S. That's something to be aware of. But you can just run it off a UART, which is uh, very convenient. The maximum range stated is something like 3 kilometres, which is still very impressive. Uh, that would be comparable to good analogue. Uh, range I guess. Not the same range as the Avatar system but this is designed for sort of close in park flying uh, little quads, little planes, things like that which is with a little bit of extended range. Will probably suit most flyers I think. Firmware updates on the video transmitter are done via USB connection to your PC or Mac and the Caddx PC tool app uh, that allows you to update firmware to the video transmitter basically the the goggles the firmware updates are, are done by a SD card as usual with the other uh, walk snail gear avatar gear initially I couldn't pair my video transmitter and goggles because I assume they're on different firmware which is a bit odd coming straight from Caddx they should supply it with matching firmware you would think but I updated both of them to the latest firmware and they linked and uh, are operating perfectly well now. You'll need to go to the CADEX support page or uh, look at the QR code that's provided on the quick start guide then you can get the Ascent latest firmware uh, for the the sky firmware for the video transmitter and the ground firmware for the goggles and the uh, CADEX PC tool app this is the Mac version for upgrading firmware. Uh, of course Mac won't let you just open this new app because it hasn't been checked out and approved by Apple so you have to sort of uh, go to the security settings and get around that but if you click on the little question mark in the top right corner of the the Mac security pop-up when it says it, it's not going to load your app uh, that'll give you instructions about how to force it to load you can also get the manual for the uh, Ascent light video transmitter and the Ascent goggles as well this is what the CADEX PC tool looks like. So you use the supplied USB cable to plug in underneath the, the uh, video transmitter there. By the way, I've got my camera upside down, so don't uh, mount it the same as this. Uh, you want the cord sort of coming out, pointing down from the camera. Open up the CADEX PC tool and it will show up as a sent sky. Click connect and it should show you what firmware you've got on there. Uh, the this is the latest firmware that I've just uploaded, but you would go and um, find that file, select it, then click upgrade there. And note the temperature, this little board heats up very quickly, so you will need to provide some cooling while you're upgrading firmware, otherwise you'll get a warning about over temperature. So we're over on the CADEX website, this is the page for the Ascent goggles, a pretty decent price for a set of goggles, uh, and you can get the the kit, which is what I'm reviewing here today for 275 21 at the moment. And here are the customised lenses that you can order too. You can uh, send them your specific glasses prescription and they'll put the lenses in the frames for you. 
This system is sort of specifically designed for mini quads and micro quads and things like that, but uh, I'm not a quad person, so I'm going to demonstrate it on little planes, of course. The antennas are patch antennas in the front of the goggles, so you do have to remember to uh, keep your head oriented towards the, the vehicle, the craft, the plane or the quad. And all you get with the goggles are the goggles, the power cable for uh, XT60 mirror cloth and a user manual or just a quick start guide there. And here's the Walksnail Ascent light video transmitter and camera. Tiny, tiny little unit, but very good. Selling for $53.54 at the moment, so you could buy multiple for different aircraft without breaking the bank. 147 degrees diagonal, field of view, up to three kilometers long range. You can choose 25 milliwatts or 100 milliwatts. And here are the dimensions. The whole spacing is 25 millimeters for the board. 14 millimeters wide for the camera and you get a 90 millimeter MIPI cable. So now I'm going to solder it up. The, the video transmitter does come with a cable. Actually, I'll show you those photos as well. I do have them. This is what comes in the box of the Ascent light video transmitter. We get uh, the little unit and nuts and bolts and rubber grommets to uh, sort of for suspension mounting for the board. There's the USB cable for firmware upgrades and a quick start guide. And you'll need to scan that QR code to get the full version of the manual and uh, the firmware as well. Or you should be able to get this stuff on the support page of uh, the Walksnail website as well. Now this cable, uh, it fits directly into Speedy B. Uh, the Speedy Bs have a six pin JST socket. And this is a four pin, but it can plug straight in. The thing you have to be aware of is that the, the Speedy B F405 Wing Mini uses uh, battery voltage for the video transmitter. So if you're running this on uh, 3S, 2S or 1S, or 3S or 2S, that's fine. You can't run it on 4S, uh, otherwise you'll blow up the, the uh, video transmitter. To fit in with my systems, I've had to cut that off and solder on my own 4-pin DuPont connector. I've mounted the Ascent Light VTX and camera up on my little Penguin, Adam RC Penguin. Nice little plane, suitable for a little FPV setup. Nice sunny but quite windy day, uh, so it'll be a bit of a bumpy ride, but let's go and see how it looks in the air. <laughs> into cruise mode and there we go that is looking beautiful lovely image it's a beautiful day for it i have to say let's get up a little bit higher that will do me cruise around yeah picture looks beautiful it is a perfect day for getting good images though lots of detail in the sky bright sunshine a bit of cloud coming across lots of detail in the ground to look at and that is just looking superb uh, it looks probably uh, possibly just as good as the avatar there may be some image processing artifacts that are showing up possibly but um, overall it is just a magnificent view yeah not quite as much fine detail probably but uh, perfectly acceptable as a lovely high, defini high definition image in the goggles probably yeah not not the fine detail in the fields down there i think you can't see this sort of see so much in the grass uh, but uh, very very nice anyway so this is going to be popular, I think, 
cheaper price, smaller size. I hope they come out with some different um, video transmitters. Some sort of high spec video transmitters maybe. Uh, but we're getting decent range there. Don't want to go too far. Getting some smudging and stuff. Can't remember what power I'm on. I'll have to check that when we get back. But yeah, it's breaking up a bit there now. Make sure I'm still pointing a bit off to the side. All right, so yeah, a fair bit of break up or a bit of blocking and carrying on there. So best for closer range. All right, I'll uh, I might uh, bring it in and see what power I'm on. I might be only on 25 milliwatts. <coughs> Lovely agile little plane. This. Penguin. Whee! There you go, I'm only on 25 milliwatts. So that was on 25 milliwatts, that was good for about a kilometre of range uh, with some blocking on the way back. Uh, so let's put up to 100 milliwatts auto and see how we go. Lots of wind. Climbing up a bit. Here we go. Looking good. So for your first jump into HDFPV, this would be a great system to get, I think. About half the price of uh, the Avatar or the DJI gear. Um, but within, uh, within a, you know, a couple of kilometres, it's, uh, it's going to be absolutely fine, I think. Light plane up at 100 and 200 metres or so, so I better stay down. Well, I'll bring it in, have a chat about it. Lovely, uh, small size, lightweight, inexpensive HD FPV system. I think it's the start of uh, good things to come. They release a few more 
video transmitters. So there you go, it is a good little system, uh, nice and very small, uh, nice and cheap. The range, of course it isn't as, as uh, far as the Avatar system, I would say, I would be confident flying to two kilometres with this on 100 milliwatts. Picture quality, uh, well there's a lot of image processing going on I suppose. It looks great, but it's, it's lacking uh, the fine detail of the pro cameras and it, it goes blocky uh, and you can sort of freeze the image out at about two kilometres, but it's never really designed for that sort of range. So uh, as long as you treat it as a not a long range system, it's great. It's a uh, fantastic quality for park flyers uh, and staying within a kilometre or so. Uh, little planes, little quads, great stuff. I think this is a, a very good development by Caddix Walk Snail uh, and uh, I'll be happy when they bring out some uh, other video transmitters as well, maybe with a bit more range. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.